This is code.org and we don't have much here. Let's see what's going on. You have learned that Java programs contain a file with two core components, a class header and a main method. Okay, that's true. And if we doubt them, guys, keep in mind, we can always just go back to the other bubbles and confirm what they're saying. So write the class header and the main method. Wow, that's a big task. Let me click on this. Show me how. Ooh, super helpful. So guys, I'm actually gonna, hmm, let me go ahead and I'm gonna copy this over. Actually, I'm lying to you. I wanna get used to writing it myself. So I'm gonna go ahead to go to line one. I could eliminate this, but I'll leave it and hit enter. I now have line two. All right, so I'm gonna write public class and capitalization in code matters so much. So notice the first class is not capitalized, just like I have it. Next up is going to be class name. This, what I'm writing right now, is exactly what they have. And it will cause an error. The reason it will cause an error is we don't have a file named class name. The class name has to match exactly what the file name is. And as we saw in bubble one, the file name is right up here. It's my council. Now, we don't need the dot after a class name, but we do need what the file name is. So on this tab next to the little folder icon, it says my council. So class name is just a filler. They're just giving us an example, right? And we got to get rid of this. So for me, public class, I need to write my council because that's what it says up here. My council dot Java. We don't write dot Java, though, for the name. I just wrote it wrong, though, and I hope you're yelling at me because the file name has a capital N, lowercase y, capital C, and then lowercase the rest. This is called camel casing, although it's proper camel casing, but regardless, each word starts with a capital for the class name, and it has to match the file exactly, and that's how it does. We leave off .java. All right, we got that. Now let's see, for the method, public on the next line, static void main, pretty standard there, parentheses, now, the word string is going to be a data type. It's a, we need it capitalized. It's not considered a primitive data type. We'll get into that later. So I'm going to write string. And now notice next the word string here is square brackets, not the curly brackets. So that's just the keys next to the letter P, but you don't want to hit shift. Now I'm going to do space A, R, G, S, and another parentheses. Make sure you get in all of the parentheses, square brackets, curly brackets that they have. Otherwise, the computer will be the very grumpy. All right, now let's see. I got that, I'm gonna hit space, and now I, it's a curly bracket time, and that's the key next to the letter P. I'm holding shift, bam. It gives me the ending one right away. Perfect, I'm just gonna hit enter. And that looks good to go. Let's, uh, let's, Give it a run. Bacha. And no errors. And I just want to, again and again, guys, use your resources. We could always click on one of these other bubbles and view one of these as an example, right? Code.org gives us a ton of resources. So we can be really confident in what we write. Anyways, looking good. Forward march.